Um, it's not something that you can learn how to do because it's proofs. In the exam, they sometimes like to ask you to prove some trigonometry rule. And the only formulas you can use to prove it are the compound angle formulas or the basic formulas from semester one, like sine squared plus cos squared equals one, or sine is opposite over hypotenuse, stuff like that. So, I'll do a couple to give you the idea of how they how they go, but like I said, there's not one way to do them because each proof's going to be different. So let's start with the one which Roland showed you, the sec squared one. Um, so let me just go down here. Oops, not too far. Right, write down the first one A, and then I'll prove it. This is what we want to try and prove. Okay, did you write it down? Yes. No, you didn't. <coughs> okay, got that? Right, so we want to prove 1 plus tan squared x equals sec squared x. So the proof. Um, really for the proofs you have three approaches. You can start at the left and try to get to the right. Start at the right and try to get to the left. Or start with both and prove it is equal by simplifying it into something which is obviously equal. For this, I think I'll just start with the left to prove it. So 1 plus tan squared x. From semester 1, you know that tan x is sin x over cos x. So this is 1, plus 1 over 1 plus sin squared x over cos squared x, which is 1 times cos squared x, 1 times cos squared x, plus 1 times sin squared x which is 1 over cos squared x, which is 1 over cos x squared, which is the definition of sec x squared. And that's the end of this proof. So this is an example of something you might get in the exam. You can write that down. Required to prove. End of proof. QED. Good one, the funny one. Good. I like it. Good sense of humor. It's important in life to have a good sense of humor. Sometimes you're first and sometimes you're last. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's true, true. Uh, Alright, next one. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll do the next one, but now that you've seen A, I'd like you to give it a try first. 
1 plus cotan squared x equals cosec squared x. You proved it? Good job. Did you prove it? Good. Okay, let's have a look. Required to prove 1 plus um, cotan squared x equals cosec squared x. Okay, so, begin proof. 1 plus co... 1 plus cotan squared x equals 1 plus 1 over tan squared x equals 1 plus 1 over tan x squared which equals 1 plus 1 over sine x over cos x squared which equals 1 plus cos x over sine x squared which is 1 plus cos squared x over sine squared x which is all over sine squared x sine squared x plus cos squared x which is 1 over sine x sine squared x 1 over sine x squared which is cosec x squared which is cosec squared x that's the end of that proof you said you got it I put in more lines than I needed to just to try and make it clear for you, but uh, very similar to the last one. Okay, let's do another one now. Okay, let's have a look at the next one now. <coughs> confirm some details about my website because I'm, a, I'm on Google Map. You know Google Map? Do you have Google? Yeah. Open up Google and type something in. You'll see a picture of me. Kind of. Type in M-A-T-H G-R-I-N-D-S Scroll down Keep going on, keep going on, no no keep going on. There's me See? Private tumor <laughs> There I am there By the way I should live by the way I should live by the way I should live by the way Yep <laughs> Private lessons Google wanted to check my address. Who is Linton? Huh? 
Leinster is the name of Dublin and the neighbouring counties like um, uh, Wicklow, Kildare, Mead, Louth. Mead. Huh? Mead. Bray? Yeah. That's not it's it. in Wicklow. Yeah, yeah, it's not a county, it's in Wicklow, yeah. Okay, you have this now? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at the next one, which I'll do, if you can write it down. C, just write it down. Yeah? Okay. So, let's do it. Sine pi over 2 minus x. And what am I trying to get here? Cos x. So, compound angle rule. rule. Sine a cos b minus sine b cos a. Sine, um, this here is 1 and this here is 0. So this will be just 1 cos x minus 0. So in other words, just cos x. So it's a, a short one, if you can write this down. Call the compound angle rule. Then how See, Mushri? I wrote it here. 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 You have this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mishri? <laughs> Not this time, huh? Okay. So, I'll do some more. And I'm going to do F. But in, before I do F, I want you to try D and E, which I'll do in a minute as well. Very similar to C. So try D and E now. Just uh, D and E is what I want you to try.
tangent pi over 2 in matter so I can just change it into sine or cos or you can change times and sine to cos there's no problem yeah but I was using when there is in the compound it is there is a formula for tangent a plus or minus b correct so okay let's have a look d cos pi over 2 minus x yes yeah. cos a cos b plus sine a sine b um, <coughs> one of these is zero uh, this one is zero this is one so you're just left with sine x uh, this is d isn't it? e tan Uh, what's the tan pi over 2 minus x isn't it which equals sine pi over 2 minus x over cos pi over 2 minus x which equals cos x over sine x by using question c and question D is result. So if you use the results from C and D, you can take the shortcut, uh, which cos over sine you know is one is um, cotan. <coughs> so sine over cos is tan, so this is cotan. So a little bit sneaky for that one. Yeah. But you could also use the tan A minus B formula. Yeah, then If I how would you do No, no, I did it this way so I wouldn't have to do it that way. <coughs> you can do it. Okay. Oh, Moucherie, tan, pi over 2x uh, minus x. Now I want you to tell me where you went wrong here. This is tan a minus tan b over 1 plus tan A tan B yes and this is much harder this way because tan pi over 2 is no not 0 check it infinite infinite it's undefined <coughs> yeah it's infinity okay so what you do here um, you divide everything by tan pi over 2 to try and cancel it. So you get 1 minus tan x over tan pi over 2 over 1 over tan pi over 2 plus tan x. Now, check, what is um, a tan pi over 2 is infinity. It's a big number. You can't put on the calculator. So what we have now is this. 1 minus tan x over infinity 1 over infinity plus uh, tan x what's a number divided by infinity? Zero. so this on the top will be 1, one and on the bottom uh, which is <laughs> and this is why I didn't do it this way Nah. Yeah, if you do it this way in the exam, I would be happy too. It is good to ask questions. I don't want you to think that I was annoyed. I wasn't. Hmm. I know it seems like that, but I'm really I'm not. I'm hard on the outside, but sweet on the inside. Like it can be. Get ready on this. <laughs> Cat very hard can be. <laughs> ah dear. Okay. Uh, continue? Yeah. Yes. Alright. 
Scroll down? Yes. yes, okay. So, like I said, I'm going to do one more, then I'll let you try some F. No, well, F, G, and H are kind of the same. F. So, what could you use in H to help you out? The result from F and G. Yeah. Right, so let's have a look at F. Sine squared X equals 1 minus cos 2X over 2. Now, this time, I'm going to start on the right because I have a formula for cos 2x using the double angles. So I'll start on the right this time. 1 minus cos 2x over 2 equals 1 minus over 2. And then cos 2x, we said, was cos squared x minus sine squared x. This is the double angle formula from this week. This equals 1 minus cos squared x plus sine squared x over 2. Yes? But 1 is equal to cos squared x plus sine squared <coughs> x minus cos squared x plus sine squared x over 2. The 1 here is cos squared plus sine squared. So you can cancel cos squared with minus cos squared and you're left with 2 sine squared x over 2 which is sine squared x. End of proof. So that's uh, not unusual there. In the second aspect, where you, after one minus cos square x plus sine square x, you have cos square x plus sine square x. Yep. How? Oh. How? Um, what's cos squared x plus sine squared x? It's one. one. Mm -hmm. So I just changed the one into that. So you can also say that one minus cos sine squared x sine squared x. Yes, yeah, you can. But I just thought this was cooler. You could, yeah, 1 minus cos squared x is sine squared x. You could have said that too. Yep. You don't like this one? Hmm? I like 1 minus cos squared x. Okay. Yeah, what's that? Okay, so we have done together A to F. There's about 10 minutes left. So for the last 10 minutes, it'd be great if you continue from G and do as many as you can. Yeah, uh, I'll close this now, but if you want to write down the next few, you can. Um, We've done to F, so this would be it here. Not too hard, kind of at the limit.
No, 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 no. Oh. He was asking it's too hard for the exam. And I said, right at the right at the limit of what could be on the exam. Maximum, maximum difficulty. No, it's like these type of questions are there in the exam. I think they are good. Student? Person who's been teaching for nine years. I know what's on the exam. Um, these ones are on the exam. But I don't know what you're saying. Do you agree or disagree? I just want to one. Good. These questions are good. Adnan was asking me if Z is too hard for the exam. I said it's at the limit of what they could ask you on the exam. You think no? Mm -hmm. I think it's easy. Yeah. You think it's easy? Yeah, in the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to this guy. Right, uh, closing this worksheet. All right. Uh, try these for a couple of minutes, okay?